Hello, welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this data table with all crowd operations. So this will be a single live wire component. You can watch this live wire data table video where I have built this data table without crowd operation. And in this video, I will add this create new edit and delete operation. So let's uh, see if we create new product uh, let's say dummy and put in some price save it we can see newly created product if we want to edit we can edit like update it and then we can save it we can get that updated information also we can delete any of these like so so this is single library component which is achieving everything with very less lines of code. Let's jump into code editor and show you how I created this. So some code I have already put in this uh, video on description section. You will get the link for GitHub gist where I have supplied all the code. And here uh, all this these part are on from first part of this video and I have added just these components sorry these attributes so one to open the edit model and another to track the delete model similarly one for editing product to keep the editing product data and one for deleting product id so first thing first whenever we hit edit it will go to this method edit product which is getting triggered in product data table. So this is the component. So all this is done in part one. Only thing I have added is these edit and delete buttons. So whenever someone hits edit button, it is calling the edit product item method with item. So this item will be the product and whenever we go to this method we get the product that we supplied from our blade file and then we are setting the editing product to this current product so that whenever we hit edit it will pre-populate all the form fields with existing product data so by the way that model is just below here product edit model so this is let me collapse these so this is the data table and outside the data table so this is the pagination outside data table we have put that product edit model which will only show in when edit model is true so edit model will be true when we hit edit product so this will display the model so i am using the balma css model uh, by adding this is active this model will be active all right so this model is balma css so you have to have balma css in your project to use this component and in the model content section we are using this form class sorry form tag where we have all the form fields for name and description and price so normal uh, library stuff we are binding this to editing product dot description name and price so all data from the form will be saved inside editing product and whenever we hit submit or save this product will be this form will be submitted to this save product method so this is submitting to this method let's go to save product and in this save product we are just validating our form data like so and we are checking if there is id field if that is, if there is id then we will update the product if there is no id then we will create the product simple so one method will handle both edit and create part so after all these edit or create action we are facing brand new products and then closing the model so fetching product is pretty simple just we are facing this like so 
and we are closing the model so we are making edit model and delete model both false similarly for delete product so for delete product we can uh, see from here delete button so in delete button we are calling confirm delete and then we are passing the id of product uh, that we are going to delete and this product id we are first we are making delete model true so that delete confirmation model will be shown like so and then whenever we click yes then it will trigger the delete product actual method which will be responsible for deleting the product so here we are just setting deleting product id and then whenever we call delete product we don't need to pass id we'll just destroy the product if that is not empty and we are again refreshing the product products and then closing the model all right so this is how we achieve the crowd operation in data table pretty simple with live wire so hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i will i'll see you on another cool video bye